on a new installation, a majority of GFCI tripping problems can be attributed to incorrect wiring of the GFCI. A clear understanding of the correct configurations is essential. The process of verifying proper GFCI wiring for a 240 volt dedicated or 120 240 volt SPA control is very similar. In both cases, first, go to the house breaker box. Locate the proper circuit breaker for the SPA and turn it off. Remove the cover from the house breaker box. Remember that high voltage is still accessible in most cases, even though you have turned off the SPA breaker. Check the main service amperage rating to the breaker box. Typically, a house circuit will require at least 100 amp service when a SPA is installed. From the SPA circuit breaker, locate the red load wire and the black load wire. From the neutral bar, locate the white neutral and green ground wire. Be sure no other appliances are on the SPA circuit. If they are, service must be rewired to supply the SPA only. All four of these wires will exit the house breaker box via conduit routed to the GFCI breaker box. From the box, locate these four wires. Confirm that black is connected to GFCI line in one and red connected to line in two. The white neutral wire connects to the neutral bar. The green ground wire should be connected and grounded securely to the GFCI chassis. The white pigtail should also be connected to the GFCI neutral bar. If the SPA is equipped with a 240 volt dedicated control system, the black wire from GFCI loadout 1 and red wire from loadout 2 along with the green ground wire connected to the chassis will exit this box via conduit routed to the SPA control system. If the SPA is equipped with a 12240 volt control system an additional white neutral wire must connect the load neutral out as shown here. This wire runs with the others to the system box. Because any 12240 volt system has 120 volt devices to operate, proper placement of this neutral wire is essential. If miswired, the GFCI will trip when 120 volt device is activated. When inspecting wiring for any control system, connections for the incoming wires are clearly labeled at the main terminal block. Check for proper installation. 30 amp service must use 10 gauge copper wire. 40 amp service must use 8 gauge copper wire. And all Balboa control systems wired to a 50 amp circuit must use 6 gauge copper wire from the house breaker box to the main terminal block. The wiring diagram inside the system box shows this as TB1.